there is this rather interesting thing. Um, as you will probably know, um, uh, I have this uh, rather bothersome uh, trait uh, being extremely violent, aggressive, and uh, outraging. Yeah, it really bubbles within me all the time and uh, I can't hold it back and therefore I beat people up all the time. Uh, I've been thinking about situations. It's kind of, uh, yeah, you might say tense situations. Yeah, hear, hear this uh, tone in my voice now. I'm getting irritated. Uh, and how I have reacted. I've already mentioned this uh, thing about meltdowns. And... Uh, how I do react when getting get, when I get close to this kind of outburst and uh, I, I, I remember a few occasions uh, earlier in life too uh, once upon a time I was some 22, 23 years old and this was in Gothenburg and uh, uh, yeah it's called Haga this part of the town and, um, and suddenly uh, I was walking along some um, some of the streets uh, and then showed up some um, real fucking maniac uh, yeah a motorhead as you call them speed freak speed uh, speed junkie and uh, started sh uh, showing me his uh, karate uh, skills and making these kicks and asking me, would you like me to kick your head off? <sighs> no, please don't. Why? Uh, I can't stop you, but if you ask me, then the answer is no. Um, I actually did remain remain calm, uh, which he did not, and he made these uh, kicks very close to my face, and he did actually seem to have uh, some control, and uh, yeah, I decided that I am probably in no emergent danger. Uh, I will not die, <clears throat> but I was very clear about one thing: that if would I take one step closer to him, this would be an act of aggression, and would I take one step away from him, then this would be an act of uh, flight. Either way, an excuse for. Um, Making something with me. Something unhealthy from my perspective. Yeah, from his too. Uh, so. It was very apparent that. As long as I. Just keep walking. Side by side with this guy. 
and we keep talking. Then uh, I won't get hurt. And I didn't. Um, then we came to some pub, uh, kind of a um, one of these uh, standard places for the yeah, alternative people, and we entered this place, and then there were some. Um, Rasta, Rastafari guy, and this uh, junkie approached him, and yeah, he performed the same show that he had already done with me. Uh, this guy wasn't really that accepting. It was like in the in his own mists, and had this big fucking cap on his head, and he was sitting there alone with his beer, and it just looked up. At this uh, speed junkie, uh, because he, he kept doing his show. But, uh, Would you like me to kick you in your head? And this guy just, I'm a Jamaica man. Yeah, uh, uh, w w would you like me to kick you in your head? Wanna fight? Yeah, let's go out. And they did. And was just one blow and this junk was grounded and the Jamaica man uh, came back into the place again and yeah this beer of his and this was kind of uh, the end of this story but, but I actually did think about things. Uh, I, I have uh, referred to this situation quite a few times in my life. Always tell every story at least twice, you know. Uh, this one was interesting because people say you never know how you will react. When actually confronted, when actually landing into a real situation, I've always said that. Well, I believe I do. No, you don't. And um, I did. And yeah, pretty much as I had predicted. And the reaction from this counterpart was very much. As predicted too. And uh, I've had this confirmed quite a few times, really. I will return to this and fuck off until next.